Hey, I've got the pleasure to spend some time with a very, very good friend, Reese's husband, Blake Phillips. I'm definitely her husband. <laughs> Blake, uh, first of all, a real pleasure to get to spend some time in a boat with you. But, you know, we want to know something about Blake Phillips. Uh, you know, what, what are you all about? What do you do? Um, a little bit about your family and how you got into crappie fishing. Well, uh, my mama, she took me crappie fishing when I was a kid, and uh, she was the only one that would take me fishing. I wasn't, uh, and she would take me regardless, unless there was an east wind. She wouldn't take me on east wind. You couldn't catch her to go on east wind. And um, that's how I got started in it, but I got out of it. I got into the bass fishing world, into the redfish tournaments, and I started guiding and commercial fishing down in Apalachicola, Florida. Man of my heart, bass fishing. Oh my gosh, I, I dreamed of being a bass master. That was just one of my dreams. And of course that dream didn't come true, but I've always dreamed about being in the fishing industry. And um, to be here now, 50 years later, and living that dream, I mean, it's just, I get, I get chills right now talking about it. You own a company called Iho Jigs. Just about uh, very briefly, talk to me about Iho Jigs. Well, we started crappie fishing. I, I told Reese I wanted her to be my partner. She's never caught a crappie before, and she didn't even know they had crappie tournaments. And I said, well, we're going to figure it out. And um, she didn't like hurting the minnows, so we quit doing that. And then I watched this thing on Crappie University with Whitey Outlaw, and he was longlining for them. I told Reese, I said, I'm good at trolling. We can probably do this for them. And uh, sure enough, we did, and we, we did really well. But we were putting these little scent balls on the hooks, and she'd get frustrated because she couldn't keep it on there. And just, you know, just she'd cast it off and all that, and she would just say she was using it when she wasn't. And I was catching more fish than her, and she was just getting frustrated with it and just trying to be a good husband and take care of your wife. I just put a hole in a jig and tried it, and uh, sure enough, it worked, and the, and the rest is history. The rest is history, and it's going great. Hey, if somebody wants more information about I Hold Jigs, Blake, where do they go? The best place is iholdjig.com. Awesome. Hey, and if somebody wants to follow you, because, you know, I respect you as a excellent professional crappie fisherman you and john harrison have gotten together and done really really well uh at the american crappie trail tournaments how do they follow you the best way is just on facebook uh blake phillips you can find me from dustin alabama or you can do it uh, we have a business page i hold jig on facebook and then instagram is i hold jig on instagram we at Outdoors with Larry Ray appreciate everything you do for the fishing industry. We wish you all the very best in the future, not only in your business, but the crappie fishing world and crappie tournaments. Let's go catch a crappie. Let's do it.